Hello, my name is Bethany Saul and I'm a full-time author and illustrator. And today we are going to be continuing on in our InDesign series and talking about how to export your finished book product. So you formatted everything, it's all done and ready to go. How the heck do you get it from InDesign to a PDF to KDP? So how do we do this? We're gonna cover that today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Here I cover all things self-publishing, so if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, if you're looking for more information, go over to patreon.com slash bethanystall where you can join my self-pub squad or up and get behind the scenes tips, tricks, documents, and more. Or if you just really like what I do, you can join as a supporter, which is really fun. And I just tell you when all my free book days are so you can download them and enjoy some free stuff from me. So let's jump into today's tutorial and export a book document. All right, so we are in here. Our book is finished. So we are going to go to File, Export, and click that. After this, we're going to find the folder we want to save this in. So I will just save this as delete. And then we want to make sure this is an Adobe PDF print. So from this drop down menu, we want to make sure it's this and then we can go ahead and save. Now this is going to come up and this box is important to pay attention to. So we want to export our whole entire book. Now from this entire book, we wanted to export as pages. So even if you have double page spreads, you want to export it as pages because that is the way KDP or Ingram Spark will prefer to have your document. They do not want it in spreads, they want it in pages. So then we want to go over to compression. We want to make sure that nothing is being compressed smaller than 300 PPI. So that is the smallest we want to compress it. We can do automatic and keep the image quality at a maximum. This will probably already be set for you, so you may not have to touch anything in here. This is an important one. This is our bleeds and marks. So we can ignore mark and, sorry mark, and for bleeds, we want to click this box that says use the document bleed settings. That means the bleeds that we've created, if you are using a bleed, will be exported. This is very important because KDP and Ingram Spark do want this bleed area. That way there is zero possibility for white edges with your book. So we do want to make sure that is checked. Again, if you are not using bleeds, you will not have to do this step. Other than this, you don't have to do a color conversion. If you do want to do a color conversion, you can convert it to CMYK here. So you want to convert to destination preserve numbers and then choose this working CMYK document. But Ingram Spark and KDP claim not to use color conversions. So you can go ahead and say no color conversion. So again, if you are using a bulk printer or your offset printing, what you want to do is make sure you do have a color conversion. They will likely tell you which one their printer uses. Otherwise, KDP does convert your book from RGB to CMYK by themselves and they do a pretty good job at it. So you do not need to do that. Ingram Spark says they ignore the color conversion, but if you wanna do it just to be safe, you can also do that. Um, I don't have any recommendations. I've done it with the color embedded. I've done it without the color embedded. I get relatively the same results every time. So if your illustrations are in CMYK, then you're good to go. If they're not, you may want to color convert. Other than that, this advanced security and summary aren't going to matter. So let's just go back to general and click export. And that's going to be it. So wherever you save that, it will show here and you can click that, open it up and you will see your book. Now it will have it individually and you can see if you messed up your bleeds. So here I did not extend this all the way to my bleed. So I have that white line. So obviously I'd wanna fix that. If you put it into a page view, this will not show properly because you have to remember that 
this is a separate page and then it starts the spread. So you will have to say show the cover page separately for it to align right. But if you don't have that option and you see them all mixed up, it will be okay. If it looks good in InDesign, then it will be okay. Upload it to whichever printing platform you prefer and you will get to see your digital proof first. Make sure that proof looks okay and you are good to go. So I know a lot of you panic at this stage. I get so many messages at this stage of, oh my God, all my pages got mixed up. They're misaligned. I promise you they're not. PDF viewers get a little bit funky with us having this page up front. They definitely want to start with a double page, but we don't. Don't worry, don't sweat it. If it all looks clean and crisp, you're good to go. Also, don't panic if you see this line in the middle on a PDF viewer. That will not be there in the book. They will be smushed right up against each other. So it'll be just like this without any line in the middle. So don't worry about that. Again, PDF viewers can be a little bit funky. The best way you can see your book is in InDesign and in your digital proof from your printing company. After that, always, always, always get a printed proof and make sure everything looks good and then you are good to go. Your book should be done, it's formatted, you did an amazing job and you get to share your book with the world. So I hope this video has helped. Exporting is not as scary as it sounds and after this, you are good to upload to KDP or Ingram Spark. If you are not sure how to do that, I have tutorials for both. And I also have tutorials for setting up pre-orders on both platforms. And I have cover tutorials and all those other fun things. So check out my channel for all of those videos and you will be good to publish your book. So I hope this video has helped. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment and tell me, do you color convert your documents or not? So again, I haven't noticed a big difference doing it or not doing it, but it will also depend on if you illustrate in CMYK or if you illustrate in RGB and what your conversion process is for that. So everybody does it a little different. And yeah, I hope this video has helped. I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs> if you are looking for more information, go over to bethanystall.com slash classes. Here I have organized all of the information I have covered so far on YouTube and Patreon and any other sources all into one database. Now you can search through these sections and find answers to all of the questions you have about self-publishing. Here you can access behind the scenes courses, videos, files, documents, templates, contracts, behind the scenes tips and tricks, and additional documents and information all right here. A lot of it is free. Some of it is exclusive to my Patreon squad, which I highly encourage all of you to check out if you are looking to learn even more. I hope this database helps you answer any questions you may have about self-publishing. And don't forget if this video has helped or any of my resources have helped, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with an author friend. I will see you all next time. Happy publishing.